Great. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Gong si fa shai. Happy Chinese New Year, guys. So for those of you who don't know what Chinese New Year is, it is basically the new year for the Chinese where they follow a specific cycle of the moon. That's why it's called the Lunar New Year. And it's a pretty big deal around here. Yeah, everyone's on holiday. There's a bunch of line dances and they come to everybody's house and then you have all these open houses where everybody comes over and Bentley is very excited because he gets to see a ton of people for the next two weeks. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button, like this video, share it because we have a special surprise for you because Bentley is actually turning one next week and we're gonna be holding a birthday party for him and they're gonna have some lion dances, they're gonna have a dragon. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. All right guys, on today's episode, we're gonna teach you how to get your dog from going from this To this. Sounds impossible, right? But there's actually a little secret and we're about to show you. So come on and let's check it out. All right guys, so here we go. We're on Spotify. We got an email a few days ago that said Spotify now has a pet playlist. Now, just a little tip. When I looked on my devices, on my iPad and my iPhone, and I went through the app, I could not see the playlist in there. So if you receive the email, click on the link through your email or go to Spotify on your computer, and then you can see what I'm seeing here. So this is our first time, let's check it out. Let's go. And they're loading. Who's that, Corgi Bot? He's a hamster running. So they have five categories. They have iguana, cat, dog in the center, which we love, the bird, and the hamster. That's pretty cool. It's very interesting choices of animals. All right, so obviously dog. Wait, next. Bark, bark, bark. It'd be funny if they make them turn around. Tell us more, relax, energetic. Is this how your dog is or what you want them to be? Mm. My guess is probably relaxed. I don't know, they didn't make this very clear, so. All right, let's go. Let's just keep it simple. <laughs> uh, we'll make it simple. Yeah. He's already in a good mood. And, and shy, friendly. Oh, is, this might be like what your pet is like. Okay, so maybe we have to hit back. I see back. Yeah. So is he relaxed or energetic in nature? He's more like closer to energetic. I would say like yeah. right here, right? Yeah, depends where it, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. really cool. Oh. Let's see, relax, oh. oh. <laughs> Let's go in the middle. Nope, that's not Bentley. Mm, not really. It all depends on the time of day, I guess. Yeah, let's look at the end of energetic. What is that? Oh, wow. Oh, just like extra waggy <sighs> tail and extra ears. Wow, okay. my computer is about to blow up. All right, so he's definitely not that high in energy. No? no. Right here? Yeah. Okay, we'll go all right All right, like next. Is he shy or friendly? I think he's more towards friendly. Let's see what friendly looks like. Yep, yeah, that's about that's about yeah. Bentley. Let's see what shy looks like. <laughs> Aww, that's cute. I say he's super friendly. Yeah. They should have like an angry one. Let's see. He's curious or apathetic. Apathetic is like meh. Hmm. Very cat-like. I mean, no offense to cat lovers. I love cats, but that's. Well, I mean, that's just what a cat does. Typically. Curious. Mm. Yeah, surely, because he's, he's still a curious. Yeah, he's still a puppy. He sniffs everywhere. Alright. Let's see that face. Oh. Mm -hmm. So then you can upload a photo of your pets, whichever you choose, and then you can put the name of your pet. Aw, oh, the name looks so friendly. Oh, 
So it actually syncs with your taste of music on your personal profile, and then it chooses it for your pet. Uh, let's see. Music for best friends. I just got a playlist for me and Cole my dog Swindell. featuring Switch, Eclipse 6, Cole Swindell. All right, I love some country. So I guess it will be very different for every different user out there. Even if you have the same pet, for example, if I were to do it, definitely it's gonna have a different type of songs that comes out. I don't even know who Cliff Richie is. I don't either. Okay, listen now. All right guys, so scrolling through the playlist here, not actually what I expected. Um, Keith Urban, I see some country, Lee Bryce. I mean, basically that's because it is my, what I listen to, I'd be listening to a lot of country. Um, there's, yeah, Marilyn Manson. Very interesting, I love this song, but when I'm about to work out or something to get a little amped up, so I'm not really sure if Spotify is spot on with their playlist selections. Um, I don't think I would play this for Bentley, and and here's why. So there's actually been some research done um, by Colorado State University where they had 117 kennel dogs, and what they found was when they played classical music, all the dogs calmed down and they relaxed, and then when they played heavy metal they started getting like really shaky and anxious and the dogs reacted differently to heavy metal versus classical music. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to get your dog to relax, you're probably gonna wanna play some classical music. Now, I thought this was a little far-fetched, but there was a lot of reviews on this study and it claimed to really work well with kennel dogs. And the reason why this caught my eye is because every time we leave the house, we have to put Bentley in his crate. And Bentley does not like his crate at all. He always cries. So we've done a few things to help Bentley every time we leave. It's really normal if your Husky has anxiety when you leave. That's just one of the things about Huskies. What we do is when we leave, we play Netflix for him, believe it or not. And actually I found that Shrek, he likes Shrek a lot and so, you, we can tell when we come home if he was upset or not because he would either pee or poop in the cage. But when we played Shrek, he was just fine. What's up, bud? Just hanging out? Hmm? <laughs> What's up, buddy? So every time we have to leave the house and we put him in the crate, we always play something on Netflix for him. When he was a pup, we used to play some country music because well, that's the music I like. So I played him country. Plus it was you know, pretty slow and, and, and relaxing, I would think. After reading the study with classical music, I was pretty interested. I tried it myself and this is what happened. As you can see, Bentley is really calm while I'm cleaning his paws. Usually he doesn't like his hind legs to be touched and he moves around a lot. But here I was playing classical music and he was calm. So we're not really sure if what we did really was an effect of the classical music versus non-classical music, but we tried out what the research found and it seemed to have worked. So like I said, I'm not really sure how I feel about the playlist with Spotify. Yeah. I don't think that I would play that for Bentley when we leave. No. Um, it's more like, I feel like after what we saw, it feels like it was just a, a, another marketing type of gimmick just to get users to be more interactive and probably tell Spotify how many people actually care enough about their pets to make a playlist for their pets. Maybe. You know, so if I were you, I would probably make uh, your own playlist with music that your animal likes. If you notice that they react well to classical music, like Bentley definitely did, um, then we're going to be creating a playlist like that and then naming it, you know, something for him. It's pretty interesting to see. I wonder what would come out for a hamster or a cat or bird. What was that other one? Iguana. Iguana. Like, where are the fishes? People have fish, turtles. It's true. I don't. I don't know how that works. Though. I don't know if there's iguana. Like, 
people who have to run to us as pets, what does that fall under? An iguana? <laughs> I would say iguana. I don't know. Maybe. Interesting. Yeah. But all right, guys. Um, that's what we do with Bentley. We hate leaving him home um, alone. He gets really sad. He cries a lot and it breaks our heart every time we're about to walk out the door and we hear him cry. So that's why we play Netflix for him or some music, anything to calm him down. We also put his blanket in his crate with him and he finds that really relaxing. But all right guys, that is our thoughts on the Spotify playlist. Uh, there's some recommendations of what we do. We play some Netflix, usually a kid's movie, um, usually like a cartoon or something. That, that seems to really help him a lot. If you don't have a Netflix account, play some music that you think uh, that they might like. And as a safe bet, just start with classical music. Yeah, you'll never know. Like you can let us know how your pet reacts to classical music. Maybe your pet actually comes down to rock music. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe <laughs> they love some, you know, Metallica or ACDC. Who knows? Yeah. Let us know if you guys try it. Let us know what pet you have and your experience with Spotify. We'd love to hear from you. So make sure you click that subscribe button, like the video, share it, do all that stuff 2020 style, and happy Chinese New Year, everyone.